Sniffers going crazy. There's what's behind us. Freddie would not be impressed. You cannot see land anywhere. In this episode, we leave Gun Key and head for Andros, Bahamas with an overnight on the banks just before the Northwest Pass. We explore Andros, enjoy a feast on our friend's boat after a long day of spearfishing. There is so much talk about the 60 nautical mile Gulfstream crossing, and for good reason. It can get rough out there in bad weather or if the wind direction is wrong. The thing we never heard anyone talk about was after you get to Bimini, the distance you have to travel to other islands. Bimini to West End, Great Bahama Island is 70 nautical miles. Bimini to Chub Key, 94 nautical miles. Bimini to Nassau, 136 nautical miles. Bimini to Gun Key, then to Andros, 103 nautical miles. They do, and it's reflecting off of the water. Ready? <laughs> this is a first. We're anchored in 10 feet of water, and you can't see land in any direction. And we anchored at... What are, what are your thoughts? We anchored at 10 p.m. last night. You can see nothing except the Milky Way and it was a little freaky but <laughs> slept great freddie would not be impressed you cannot see land anywhere yeah. not too roly what not too roly no not too wasn't rolly. bad here again. wasn't bad at all we can see the bottom of the ocean <laughs> <laughs> i always almost say lake <laughs> archie has not pooped in 24 hours so we're having a little doggy archie does not like to poop when his bathroom is moving and it's yeah going back and forth <laughs> what do you think Archie no not impressed what do you think I don't think it's too bad here I'm ready to get going well, gotta make some water and power we're making water and power and as you can see no land, you can see no land. anywhere in sight Nobody ever talks about the long trek from Bimini area, those little islands, to get to all the other islands. It's a pretty long way. We did 65 miles yesterday, and we still have 25, 30 to go to get to an island. <laughs> it's a lot. That's all. That is a lot. I need another nap. <laughs> we chose to head to Andros. We left early from Gun Key, but we still had to overnight on the banks. We did not want to navigate the Northwest Pass in the dark. <laughs> I just ate. I can't. 
looks like a barracuda. I wish they didn't have such big teeth. Wait a minute, say that again? John Grimm would say what? John Grimm would say, almost a fish <laughs> Oh, golly. Those are some big teeth. Oh, yeah. What do you smell? Smell land? Sniffers going crazy. There's what's behind us. Hasn't seen land in over 24 hours. The smelling of land is real. Endeavor Catamaran Tova and this is the little cove or bay and there is the beach go swimming here we are on a deserted island Andros, Bahamas. The boat is back there in the background. And you can't see it. They have gone spear fishing in the dinghies, and I wanted to stay here and explore this awesome island. Archie. There's so many conch shells. Looks like volcanic, volcanic rock on one side. Right there. Just a little slice of heaven. Another thing you don't hear many people talk about is Andros, which is the largest island of the Bahamas. Andros has the world's third largest reef in the world and the most blue holes in the Bahamas. Spear King, Cook Queen. Just top it with some black and Yeah, the Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a steak. met Shelton Barr who was born and raised on Andros and we became fast friends as we stepped into his world and he shared it with us. This place is just beautiful. This is the Androsia Handmade Bactic Factory that was started on the beach in the late 1960s by Rosie Birch.
This is Captain Bill's Blue Hole and was one of our favorites of all the ones that we were able to see. You could spend an entire day here. Kind of wiggly. It's shaking. Okay. Ready? Ready. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, she would jump. She would jump. But why you don't let her jump? No. no. That's too far. Is he out of the way? No. What? No, he's never going to be out of the way. No. <laughs> He's out of the way. <laughs> oh! oh I I you <laughs> already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Oh, take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Oh, I'm done living life with the lights out. Thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button so we can see you next week and thank you so much to our subscribers who've already done that. It means a lot. <laughs>